In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can make an alternate scrolling image effect on your website by using Elementor. Here when we hover over on any images, we can see this cool hover effect and after clicking on that, here is also an amazing zoom effect with this nice transition. Cool, right? I'll also show you how we can also make this section fully responsive for all of our devices. Basically, by following this tutorial, you can create a team member or a portfolio page, which is far more creative than a boring usual image gallery. So without further ado, let's see how can we create this advanced layout. Here on this blank page, to create a new section, first of all, let's click on this plus icon and select this three column layout. And inside this, to create each of our image area, we need to take an inner section. So from here, let's drag this inner section to here and let's delete our this second column. Inside this inner section, let's drag an image widget and upload an image. Then after this, let's also add a title with this image and change this text. From the style tab, let's also change its color to the black and let's change this font to poppins and make the font weight to 700. Then here, if we look at our this final product, you can see here is one of our title. And if we click on this image, you can see an another title with this same text. So basically to create this effect, we need two heading with the same text. One for this big heading and another one for this small text. So for this here, I just want to duplicate this heading and let's change this font size from here 16 pixel and also make this font weight to 500 and after that i also want to take another text so let's duplicate this and here i want to write down the year of this project instead of this year you can also write down the category of your project or if you want to use it for your team member area, you can also include your team members designation to here. Okay, so right now I want to place these two text on the same line. So from here, first of all, I want to make it width to inline and also do the same for this one. And then place these two text on two different sides. So we need to go to these column settings and make this horizontal align to space between. After that, here for this heading, I want to initially disable this. I only want to show you with our light box. But before that, let's go to here and I want to make its alignment to the center. Then to disappear this, we need to add a class, hidden, and then go to this most outer section and go to its custom CSS. And here we need to paste some custom code. And by the way, to use this custom CSS feature, you have to have the Elementor Pro. So if you didn't have Elementor Pro, you can quickly get this from my link on the description. Let's paste our code to here. And you can see our header has been removed from this place. So for this code, you also don't need to worry about this. You can get all of this code snippet to my website. And I will also give that code snippet link to my description. So from here, you just need to copy and paste that code in this place. Now, if we look at this, we can see our header has been removed from this place, but the space for this header is still remaining here. To remove this, let's right click on here and open our navigator. Although here we cannot see our this heading, but we can see it from our this navigator view. So here, this one is our heading. Let's go to its positioning and we will make its position to the absolute. Now it has been perfectly removed from this place. After that, here I want to go to this image settings and go to this style tab. And from here, let's make this width to 100% and also make this height to 400 pixel. But this image looks a little bit squeezed. So to get rid of this, make this object fit to cover. Here on the bottom, I also want to remove this gap. 
so also make some bottom margin here then i also want to add a cool hover effect with this image so for this again go to this section settings and on this custom css field let's paste some more code and now when we hover over on this we can see this nice cool effect okay now i also want to add some border radius with that so from this border option let's make it to 10 pixel then from this content tab here if we go to this link option from here you can also add a custom url with your images and here i also want to open this link on a new tab so let's check this okay our single image section has been done now if you want to create an another one we just need to right click on here and click on duplicate and for the second inner section let's change this image and also change these three heading so this is the hidden one and this one is on this left side and on this right side we also need to change this ear okay here on the top we also need some spacing so for this inner section let's go to this advanced tab and give some bottom margin also do it for this inner section now i want to duplicate this couple more times and let's also quickly change this content so we have changed all of the content and all of the images so right now i want to make more gaps between these columns but before that let's go to this parent section settings and make this container width to 1230 pixel and from this column settings make some padding on the left and right and also at the bottom 50 pixel and do the same with this remaining two column so let's copy this column style paste the column style to here and also for this one but here for our middle column i want to make some more top padding make it to 200 okay now this layout looks good so the next thing we need to do we need to enable the alternate scrolling with our these columns so for this go to the section settings and first of all make it side to fit to a screen make this column position to a stretch and also give it a background color then from this advanced tab we need to give it a class scroll dash section and we also need to add classes with our these three columns here for our middle column i want to scroll it as usual but for our first and third column i want to make the opposite scroll direction so for this for our first column let's make its class scroll dash up and also do the same for our third column but for our middle column I want to give its class to scroll down. So after adding all of this, we also need to add some JavaScript code to our page. So let's go to here and search for an HTML widget and drag this to here and let's paste this code snippet. Here you also don't need to worry about this JavaScript code. I will give all of this to my website. You can get it from here. So after that we also need to go back to our this section and here we also need to paste some more code for our alternate scrolling. Okay. But here we need to increase its z index. Make it to 1. Let's save this and go to this preview. Okay, now we can see this reverse scrolling which looks really very cool. But now if we click on any images, you can see it goes to this image link. So here now I want to add the light box effect with each of these images. For this we need to go back to here and on this section's custom CSS, we need to paste this another portion of code. And here on this JavaScript code snippet, this widget, 
we also need to add some more code for that. I know it's a lot of custom code, but you know, when you want to make an advanced thing like this, we obviously have to do a little thing like that. But here obviously you have to do nothing. I will write all of this code snippet for you. Now let's save this. Now we can see this alternate scrolling. And if we click on any images, we can see this light box effect instead of going to this link. And on this light box state, if we again click on this image, now it goes to that image link. Okay, everything looks good. But you can see we need to fix this header. Previously we have set its position to absolute, but we need to change its position. So go to again here and click on any images. Let's go to this heading settings and from the positioning, I want to adjust its vertical positioning. And I want to copy this heading style for all of our this big heading widget. So from here, let's copy this style. And for the heading, right after the images, we need to paste that style. Let's quickly do this for all of this. Okay, now if we click on any of the images, we can see the header position has been fixed. Now everything looks good from our desktop. Now I want to check this from our tablet and mobile devices. So let's right click on this page and click on inspect. Click on this toggle device toolbar icon. From here, let's choose this option responsive. And here I want to preview this for my tablet. So let's make the width to 768 pixel and press enter. Okay, we can see here we need to reduce this spacing of these columns. Go to this edit page and I want to enable this responsive mode and view it on tablet. Let's click on this edit column and here we need to reduce the spacing on the left and right. Make it to 10 pixel and on the bottom keep this to 50. And let's do the same for our this middle column. And for this third column, let's do this. So after reducing this column gap, we also need to reduce the height of the images. So let's click on here and I want to make its height 260 pixel. And then here when we click on this image, here we also cannot see our this heading. So we also need to fix this. Click on here and make this positioning around 390 okay now first i don't want to copy the image and the heading style because if i copy paste it now and after that on mobile again fix anything then we need to copy and paste those changes once again so first let's go to this mobile device okay but you can see we cannot scroll down to that section so first of all, let's fix this. Go to this section settings and here on this custom CSS, we need to paste this last portion of custom CSS. Okay, now we can scroll down to that page and we need to increase its height, make it to 360 and let's also check our header. Okay, that position is also looks good. We don't need to do anything. So right now I want to paste this image and this heading style for all of the sections. So for this image, let's copy the style from here and paste it for another image. And also for this hidden heading, copy style and paste it to here. And let's quickly do this for all of our these sections. Now if we see it from our tablet device, everything looks good and also for our mobile devices this image also looks good but on mobile we also need to remove some top and bottom padding so for this let's go to here and for our this first column here at the top i want to make some spacing 120 pixel 
for our this second column we also need to remove this top and bottom padding okay now everything looks good and here you can also see that on mobile we have disabled this reverse scrolling option because on mobile i don't want to show a three column layout which will not look that good now everything looks good so let's save this and the last thing we need to do we need to make a background for our this header because you can see that looks really very weird for our mobile device and also for our tablet let's go to this edit header and here for this header section let's give it a background color give it the exact same color of this page background now this looks good on tablet and also on the mobile devices but if we go to our desktop here we don't need this background color so to make it transparent on the desktop we need to go to this advanced tab and here let's paste this css now i want to save this and finally let's check this from all of the devices So that's how you can create this amazing reverse scrolling image section by using Elementor. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on my next video.